what's up y'all i said what's up y'all look at me when i'm talking to you bro nah i'm just messing with y'all man this your boy knockout boxing 86 tv and we in here so check this out bro before we get going on our video smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here share the video turn on your notifications and don't forget that we live monday wednesday and thursday night 7 30 p.m central time you can also catch us live every sunday morning with the singing og kqkc boxing network sunday mornings 9 a.m central standard time um and please join the channel as a member drop the super thanks and the super chats we are trying to grow this channel i need your help to do that more time we we get grown or the more we grow the more time i get to spend dropping this content for y'all but let's get to it and get it popping and get in our video look man we got a fight prediction we got the young gun abdullah mason getting back in the ring against desmond Lyles, who was 24 years old out of south carolina eight wins two losses with two uh wins by way of knockout you got abdullah mason five foot nine 74 inch reach south paul out of ohio 19 years old seven wins no losses six wins by way of knockout desmond Lyles, i don't mean no disrespect i don't mean no disrespect but abdullah mason about to put hands and feet on this dude listen bro desmond Lyles, this is six round lightweight fight by the way it ain't going six rounds. Desmond Lyle ain't got the amateur experience. Desmond Lyle is five years older than Abdullah Mason and ain't got half as much experience. He got like, what's that, three more professional fights, but they amateur career is not even close. He like two and seven, two and eight in the amateurs or some shit. Maybe it was two and six. But he only got two amateur wins. Abdullah Mason won every damn amateur tournament you could win. Youth National, National Open, Junior Open. Just, bruh, I don't say this about a lot of fighters. And y'all know this shit. I think David Morrell Jr., generational talent, bro. You can tell, you can, you can have your David Benavidez, bro. David Morrell Jr., I think gonna put hands on that man, bro. And I'm, I'm willing to bet it. They fight in September like they talking about, he's gonna put hands on that man. A lot of people talk to me about Keyshawn Davis. He's a very good prospect. He is. A lot of people talk about Tiger Johnson. He cool, man. He's a good prospect. Raymond Ford, nice. Very nice, bro. Bruce Carrington, nice, bro. Abdullah Mason is that one, though, bro. He that one. I'm trying to, listen. Number one, just physical capabilities and abilities that them other dudes don't have. Like, you can't teach 5'9", 74-inch armies. You can't teach that shit. You can't teach 5'9", 74-inch arm reach. That screams, I'm going to be up at 154 one day. I'm going to start at 135. I'm going to get these belts while I'm young. 140, 147, 154, and guess what? Possibly middleweight, but 154, I think he tap out at. But anyway, bro, that arm reach, though, that, like that's going to allow you to get strong. That's going to allow you to, 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 to develop. You can't teach that shit. Then you just look at the skills. He'll work behind his jab with you. The counter punching is nasty. Getting inside, he still know how to get leverage on the inside with the hooks to the body and the uppercuts on it. Like, bro, he just, the footwork, the athleticism, he see everything. Everything ain't look like it's slow. You ever watch somebody do some shit? Like, I watch a lot of sports, right? And there's times when you watch great players or great athletes and shit just look like it's slow to them. Like you watching, you watching it on TV. And you can see the angle because you can see the court as a whole. But sometimes, or, or, the, or the game as a whole, sometimes it look like they see that shit that way too. Like if you watch a great basketball player make a great pass, drop a great dime, and the whole crowd go, ooh, shit. You might have saw it because you watching on TV and you can see the whole you can see the whole thing. They show you the whole thing on TV. But he's seeing shit on the court like he watching it on TV. If you watch Abdullah Mason fight, sometimes you get that vibe from him like. And it could be the competition because he only fighting in six rounders. But it like shit just seem like nothing speed him up. And usually at 19 years old, 
young prospect eager to please, eager to put on the show, shit will speed up for you. But nah, not him. He see a punch coming, I'm just going to counter you. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work behind my jab. And then he get nasty on you when he gets you hurt, but it be patient. Like, he going to keep picking his shots and placing his shots the same way that he did to get you hurt in the first place. And that be my argument with, like, Ammo Williams and shit do this shit a lot. And a lot of the young fighters, like, they get you hurt, and then it's like they forgot how they got you hurt, and then they just start throwing 100 punches because they got you hurt. Not Abdullah Mason. Oh, oh, you hurt? That's cool. I'm just going to keep walking to you patiently. His patience, his poise, it's just... It's shit that he got, bro, that you, you, if you watch boxing for a long time, you see it. You, you, you see it. And, and the poise with which he fights, never being in a rush, and always working that jab, but doing it in a sophisticated, switching speeds to it. Sometimes I'm stabbing you to the body. Sometimes I'm throwing it up top. But it's always to set something up and to get other things working off of it. Untouchable right now to me as a prospect, bro. You can have everybody else. I got him, bro. Question. Knockout. Who is going to be, if you had to put your money down, knockout, all the money you got in savings, all the money in your retirement account, bro, all the money in your checking account, bro, if you had to take all that money and put it down on one fighter that's a prospect, who you putting your money down on to be the best? Bro? Who going to be the more accomplished? Who going to be the higher and better on the all-time great list than all the prospects in the game right now? Knock out who you putting your money on. I ain't even going to think about it, bro. I'm going to answer you like that, Abdullah Mason. Something different about the young man. And he going to show y'all. He going to keep showing y'all. I already see it. I've been, I told y'all that shit from the moment I saw him fight. And if you're paying attention to boxing and you really study boxing, bro, I'm going to say this just so y'all know, bro. Until y'all get it, I'm going to say this. And every time I cover this young man and say this, bro, I'm going to say this shit to y'all, okay? And I've said it multiple times, but you don't understand the significance of the statement unless you're really paying attention. Two highly decorated amateurs went and sparred. Shakur Stevens, who a lot of people say pound for pound number one. A lot of people say he the next great thing since Floyd Mayweather. A lot of people say that shit about Shakur. Two prospects who are considered can't miss prospects went and sparred Shakur Stevens, Keyshawn Davis, and Abdullah Mason. Keyshawn Davis stayed in the amateurs after sparring Shakur Stevens. Abdullah Mason, top rank said, we need to sign your ass right now. After he sparred Shakur Stevenson. So let that mean whatever you think it means to you, bro. Let that mean whatever you think it means to you. But in this fight, Desmond Lyons, I ain't lying. He getting his ass whooped. And I got him getting stopped. Because I think Abdullah Mason is that damn good. He going to stop him in the third or fourth round, goddammit. it. And he's starting up a knockout streak. It's one time, I think he got like two more, two knockouts in a row right now. Maybe three. So he started off with like two, three knockouts, and he didn't get a knockout. Let's see. Let's see. I think he, I think he about to start a knockout streak on y'all ass, bro. And it's going to be a long one, too. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. So he got three knockouts in a row. He didn't get a knockout in his fourth fight. He got three knockouts in a row. It's about to be his fourth knockouts in a row. We're going to keep a track around this motherfucker. I think he's going to keep knocking people out because dudes ain't going to be able to handle that, that wreck. When you knocking dudes out like this and four-rounders and six-rounders and you this skilled, when they start getting tired in the eighth round and you fighting the eighth rounder and the tenth rounder and the twelfth, like, bro, man, gonna be something different. That record gonna be looking nasty. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though, man. If you got Desmond Lyons, bro, you must be him. <laughs> if you comment under this video picking Desmond Lyons, you must be him or his mama. Then the only people got Desmond Lyons winning, bro. Himself or his mama. And all his... He himself might not even have him winning, bro. That's how that's how cold Abdullah Mason is. That's how bad he's going to do this, boy. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below. Smash the like. Sub to the channel. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And we'll be out of here. Peace out, y'all.